catch me hollering at the moon. Six Flags is currently building the greatest amusement park of all time, and hardly anyone is talking about it. Let me explain. In August of 2019, Six Flags entered an agreement with the $620 billion Saudi Public Investment Fund to develop and design a brand new theme park for Qadiyya, Saudi Arabia's entertainment mega project. Qadiyya is part of the nation's ongoing effort to drive global tourism and reduce its reliance on oil. So they essentially gave Six Flags an unlimited budget to design and construct the greatest theme park they could possibly come up with. And I have to say, Six Flags did a pretty good job. Six Flags Cadilla will feature, at minimum, six world record breaking rides. Most notably, the Falcon's Flight Super Coaster, which upon opening will completely shatter the roller coaster height, speed, and length records. Six Flags Cadilla is probably the most ambitious ground up amusement park project ever, which begs the question. Why is this not bigger news? Well, because the Kadia project is hardly Six Flags' first attempt to build a super park in the Middle East. Back in 2008, Six Flags came to an agreement with a Dubai-based developer to build a 5 million square foot theme park named Six Flags Dubai Land. The project ultimately fell through in 2010, after the developer failed to meet financial obligations to Six Flags. But the idea was revived in 2014, when Six Flags came to an agreement with a separate developer for a new Six Flags Dubai park. Park. And construction for this park was actually underway until, again, financial issues led to the project being scrapped in spring of 2019. So when Six Flags Kadia was announced in August of that same year, pretty much everyone, including myself, was like, yeah, okay. Whatever. Well, almost four years later, it sure looks like Six Flags Kadia is actually happening. The Saudi Public Investment Fund, with its deep, deep pockets, is a much more reliable financier than the developers of the past. Construction on the park has been underway for over a year, and ride manufacturers have publicly acknowledged their involvement in the project. So let's dig into all the details we have about what looks like one of the greatest amusement parks ever built, including the park's different marquee rides, themed land and records set to be broken. But first, consider helping me out by hitting that like button and subscribing for more theme park content just like this. So like we said, Six Flags has an agreement with the Saudi Public Investment Fund to develop, design, and license the Six Flags brand for the Kadia theme park. While Six Flags is tasked with the design process and will operate the park once it opens, Six Flags Kadia will be owned by the nation of Saudi Arabia. The theme park will be an integral part of the first opening phase of Kadia's resort core, which will also feature a Formula One racetrack, a water park, various retail locations, and other unannounced attractions. The Kadia Park will be the first park built from the ground up by Six Flags since Six Flags St. Louis, which opened in 1971. And interestingly enough, the Kadia Park was designed with the original heritage of the Six Flags brand in mind, with it featuring six different themed lands, hence the Six in Six Flags. The Kadia Park is referring to their themed lands as realms of adventure and discovery. Six Flags Kadia will open with 28 rides and attractions with 10 of those being thrill rides, 18 being more family and kid oriented, and at least 8 being roller coasters. So let's check out Six Flags Kadia Realm by Realm, highlighting some of the park's key attractions and going over what we already know. After entering into the park, guests will take a walkway to the park's central hub named the Citadel. The Citadel will be a large tent-like structure that will be a defining feature of the park and visible from all over Kadia's resort core. It will house retail space as well as entry portals to each of the park's six realms. The first portal guests will see is for City of Thrills, which combines traditional Arabic and sleek contemporary designs to give the area a futuristic feel. City of Thrills will house two of the park's marquee attractions. Falcon's Flight is the intimate super coaster that will shatter records as the tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster ever built when it opens at Six Flags Kadia. Let me give you some perspective on just how extraordinary this roller coaster will be. Falcon's Flight will be over 4 kilometers or 13,000 feet long. That's over 5,000 feet longer than the current record holder, Steel Dragon 2000 at Nagashima Spa Land, which spans just 8,133 feet of track. Falcon's Flight will reach speeds of 250 kilometers or 155 miles per hour. The current record holder, Formula Rosa at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi, has a top speed of 149 miles per hour. Falcon's Flight will feature a 160 meter or 525 foot drop off the top of a cliff. The current tallest 
best roller coaster in the world. King Daka at Six Flags Great Adventure stands just 456 feet tall. To say that Falcon's Flight is the most ambitious roller coaster project ever attempted would be selling it extremely short. From my understanding, this ride is still very much in the design and development process at Intamin. And I think there's a chance that what actually opens is a nerfed version of what we saw in the original animation. But even then, considering the sheer scale of this coaster, its use of the environment, and the way it interacts with the entire resort, it's going to be one of the greatest achievements ever in the amusement industry. The other record-breaking attraction in City of Thrills is Sirocco Tower, which will open as the tallest freestanding drop tower in the world at 145 meters or 475 feet tall. The ride experience will also feature an initial drop underground before launching riders up 47 stories in the sky. City of Thrills will also feature a family suspended coaster named Adrenaline Express, likely to be manufactured by either Vacoma or Intamin, as well as a small flat ride. Right next door to City of Thrills will be Grand Exposition, themed to the extravagant world expos of the past and featuring a number of theme park staples. Headlining the area will be Colossus, described as a gravity-driven wood-steel hybrid coaster that features 800 meters or 2,600 feet of track. It's unclear whether Colossus will be a steel track coaster with wooden supports like an RMC, or a wooden track roller coaster with steel supports like a Gravity Group or a GCI. However, in the park's announcement video, they did show clips of two RMC coasters, so I'd say an RMC is a safe bet. Colossus will feature over 30 moments of airtime, which the park is claiming a world record for, and looks to be themed with the visual aesthetic of a classic boardwalk wooden coaster. Gyrospin will be the area's world record setting pendulum ride, standing 52.5 meters or 172 feet tall. This is likely to be a Zamperla Giga Discovery, either the same height or slightly taller than Crazanity at Six Flags Magic Mountain, Joker at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and Wonder Woman at Six Flags Great Adventure, which all currently share the height record at 172 feet tall. The area will also feature other classic theme park rides, including a carousel, a swinging spin ride, and bumper cars. The next realm is named Valley of Fortune, themed to the legend of a wealthy king who buried his treasure in this area. The feature attraction of Valley of Fortune is Spitfire, an intimate accelerator coaster similar to Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Spitfire will feature a swing launch with an airtime hill, a vertical spike that will be taken backwards, and a sky roll which looks to be an inverted top hat. According to the park, Spitfire will hold records for the world's highest inversion, as well as the tallest triple launch roller coaster. The world's highest inversion is currently the first corkscrew on steel curtain at Kennywood, which is 197 feet tall, so Spitfire's inverted top hat will likely be slightly taller, possibly exceeding 200 feet. The other marquee attraction in Valley of Fortune will be Skywatch, which is a hydraulic boom rotating tower ride, likely an Intamin Flying Island. This will take riders up 45 meters or 147 feet in the air. Valley of Fortune will also feature an auto-themed drive ride and a spinning family ride. Next door to Valley of Fortune is Twilight Gardens, a large fantasy garden-themed land primarily designed for families with younger guests. Twilight Express Coaster is the name of the land's family coaster and will likely be a junior coaster from Vacoma. Twilight Gardens will feature other family attractions such as an interactive dark ride, an interactive water ride, as well as a spinning balloon ride. Steamtown will be a steampunk-themed land, a theme that's been recently used at other Six Flags parks, with theming resembling large machines used to dig into the ground in search of gold. The marquee attraction of Steamtown will be the Iron Rattler Mine Train Coaster, a Vacoma tilt coaster which will be the world's tallest, fastest, and longest tilt coaster, standing 60 meters or 197 feet tall. Iron Rattler features a vertical freefall tilt drop down into a steam-filled mine shaft, and depending on the length of the drop, Iron Rattler could also be considered the world's first hyper-tilt coaster. The land will also be home to Steamtown Falls, a ride containing elements of both a roller coaster and a splashing boat ride, so it's likely to be a water coaster from either Intamin or Mach rides. Steamtown also features a spinning family ride and a climbing structure for kids. The sixth land is named Discovery Springs and is meant to resemble a tropical oasis in the middle of the desert. The marquee attraction of Discovery Springs will be Sea Stallion. The description of the ride as well as this little glimpse of orange track we have here, leads me to believe that this will be a spike coaster from Mauer Rides. Sea Stallion will be a rider-controlled coaster, with two guests per vehicle which will take riders over rivers, behind waterfalls, and through trees, through its 650 meters or 2100 feet of track. According to the park, Sea Stallion will
will hold the world record for the tallest and fastest interactive rider controlled coaster. And I think this may have two separate racing or dueling tracks. The plunge will be another signature ride of Discovery Springs. This will be a first of its kind ride that raises riders in a gondola up 15 meters or 49 feet before dropping them down into a pool of water, creating a tidal wave that soaks both riders and spectators. Discovery Springs will also feature a log flume named Zuma Fluma that's 550 meters or 1800 feet long, as well as an interactive dark ride named Into the Deep, which will take riders down below the surface of the water. Now that we're familiar with the park, its signature attractions, and the mind-boggling amount of records it's out to break, let's talk a little bit about how Six Flags Cadilla might stack up with other parks on a global stage. I think the first distinction that needs to be made is whether to categorize Six Flags Cadilla as a theme park, like a Universal or Disney, or more of an amusement park like all the other Six Flags parks. And while the renderings do suggest that the park will have a high level of immersiveness and theming, first of all, this is still a Six Flags park we're talking about. And second, the level of theming and concept art for new parks hardly ever matches what the park actually opens with. Plus, I think the park's clear emphasis on squeezing in as many record-breaking rides as they possibly could lends itself to the fact that they're going for a more thrill-ride-centric experience rather than an immersive themed storytelling experience. So with that established, there's a couple of amusement parks that my brain immediately jumps to in terms of the best ride lineups in the world. Obviously, you have to look at Cedar Point, with its lineup of Steel Vengeance, Maverick, Millennium Force, and whatever will become of Top Thrill Dragster. You also think of Six Flags Magic Mountain, with their record 20 operating roller coasters, including X2, Twisted Colossus, Tatsu, and a very strong supporting cast behind them. I think Energylandia has also entered itself into the conversation with its extraordinary growth. Up to 17 coasters in its lineup, including its double-headed monster in Hyperion and Zadra, with no signs of slowing down anytime soon. But I mean, just take a look at Six Flags Cadilla's attraction lineup on paper. Falcon's Flight tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster in the world. Colossus, hybrid coaster with the world's most airtime. Iron Rattler, Vacoma Hyper Tilt Coaster. Spitfire, Intamin Multi-Launch with the world's tallest inversion. And then you have a supporting cast of more record-breaking attractions like Sirocco Tower and Gyro Spin, along with a couple other incredibly unique roller coasters. I'm really starting to think that when it opens, Six Flags Cadilla's ride lineup will be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ride lineup of any park in the world. Now, of course, there's still a lot of question marks surrounding a lot of Six Flags Cadilla's marquee attractions. We've obviously never seen a coaster the scale of Falcon's Flight before, so it's impossible to tell whether holding every record in the book will translate to it being an actual good roller coaster. Colossus, listed at just 2,600 feet of track, would be the second shortest RMC hybrid coaster behind only Twisted Cyclone. And although we've seen a renaissance from Vacoma the last few years, it's yet to be seen how good their new gen tilt coasters will actually be, and so on. But I think with what we currently know, even with all those unknowns. It's hard to ignore the fact that Six Flags Cadilla could immediately open with the most stacked ride lineup in the entire world. The potential is certainly there. And if Falcon's Flight does end up becoming one of the best roller coasters in the world, watch out, because I think Six Flags Cadilla will become the top destination park for thrill seekers and coaster enthusiasts across the entire globe.